Hi friends, my name is Lindsay and I'm part of the team here at South Point Church. Uh, I have been a worship leader on our worship team for over 10 years now, and my husband Kyle and I have been serving here for over 10 years. We love South Point Church and it is our church home. Um, today I wanna talk you, to you a little bit about um, a song that we're gonna be singing soon at church called Oh Come to the Altar. It's it's not a new song for us. It's one we've been singing for several years now uh, by a church called Elevation Church. Um, they have a worship band that travels around and makes some incredible music. And this is just one of their songs. Um, oh, come to the altar. The first time I heard this song, it reminded me of, um, I, I envision a, a grandfather or a, a dad, um, specifically my own grandfather. Um, I picture him sitting in his big brown chair when we were kids um, and we could go climb up in his lap and he would tell us stories or read us a book. Um, and it was it was a very safe place. He, he has always been a very safe place for me. Of course, he's gone now, um, but so <laughs> I tear up just thinking about him. Um, he, he was a man who could, um, he was very disarming and he could, he could make you feel safe. And, um, there was no judgment when you came to him. There was no condemnation. Um, it was just love and lots of it. Um, and that's, that's the image that comes to mind when I think of this song, uh, because the words of the chorus say, Oh, come to the altar. The father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness is bought with the blood of Jesus Christ. Um, and I picture my grandfather in his big chair with his arms wide open, asking me to come sit with him and stay a while. Um, in the Old Testament, the altar was a physical altar uh, that the priests in the nation of Israel, they would um, come to the altar every single day. It's what they were tasked with um, to make atonement for the sins of the people. Um, and that was in the form of sacrifices, whether it be animals or grains or um, breads or any, whatever the case may be, they had to make atonement for the people. And it had to be done every single day because just like us, they sinned every single day. Well, when God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to stand in our place and die on the cross, for our sins, the cross became the altar. Um, and it is a place where the only one who could die, the only perfect sinless person could die in our place to take our place. Um, because the Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death. And what that means is that sin requires death to atone for it. And because Jesus came and died once and for all, he atones for our sin. His death atoned for our sin. And so the work is finished and we don't need to make the sacrifices anymore because he made the ultimate sacrifice in our place. Um, and so the song invites us to bring all of our burdens and all the things that are weighing us down and lay them down at the foot of the cross, the altar of God. And uh, the, um, the bridge is definitely my favorite part of the song because, well, let me just sing a little bit for you because it just, it's so moving and it is the praise response for what God has done in our lives. It says, oh, what a savior, isn't he wonderful? Sing hallelujah, Christ is risen. Bow down before him, for he is Lord of all. Sing hallelujah. Christ is risen. And it is so fitting that we are coming into a time where we're going to celebrate baptisms in the life of our church. Because baptism is the time when you can publicly stand up and go down beneath those waters 
and rise again, just like Christ did. Um, it is a public representation of what Jesus does in our lives when we accept him as our Lord and Savior. When we say, yes, Lord, I believe that what you did on the cross, the altar, what you did was for me personally. Um, it's gonna be so exciting because we haven't met together as a, in a long time and everything feels upside down. But uh, we're still meeting together as a church every Sunday um, online. And we're meeting in small groups online. And the youth group is still meeting in person, in small groups. And it's, God is still moving. And baptism and celebrating that as a church is a reminder that God is still moving in the midst of everything feeling upside down and different. God is still constant. Um, the very last line of O oh, Come to the Altar says, tell the world of the treasure you have found. And that's what baptism is. It's telling the world of the treasure you have found in Jesus Christ and what he's doing in your life and what he has done for you. So I hope you guys have a great day and uh, thanks for listening to my story. Bye-bye.